relationship. If you have two parties and one of them pays money and the other one provides a service or they are a servant, I don't mean a, necessarily a, like a household servant, but they're the servant because they are providing a service and this person is paying. Well, the person who pays, in my opinion, is the boss because they're paying, right? They're paying somebody else for a service and they're the ones that say, look, I will dictate to you what the job is. Are you willing to take this payment to complete that job, yes or no? Well, what we've done is we have told our government, look, we have certain needs. We need protection. Its number one job is to protect this country. Are we protecting America all the way around right now as a country? Or do we have an influx of people just coming in willy-nilly because they can cross a river and get into this country illegally? You see the problem? The government is not protecting its citizens by keeping it secure. Most Americans are all for immigration. We love immigrants because we're all immigrants. Or second or third generation, right? All of our parents, grandparents, great-grandparents were immigrants. All of them. And don't get me started on the whole Native American thing because, you know, who was here before they had it? I mean, you can keep going back on who's, who, who rightly owns land or whatever, but I mean, you know, you carry it back far enough and it's like, wow, it goes back to whatever, Adam and Eve. But I'm just saying, who is to say who that person is that owned that land? Ultimately, it's a different discussion. But we like immigrants. What we as a country, and they've done tons of polls, 72% of all Americans hate the fact that people come into this country illegally. Would you know that the vast majority of Americans feel that way from what you hear on the news? No. The news is controlled in such a way that you would think that those of us that say, well, that's wrong, we should stop people from just pouring into our border, that's insane. Well, you're just mean. That's hate speech. See where it goes? See, that's a problem. Or lots of people's ideals, like two ideals. The ideal thing is to apply and take the tests and do it properly. Do you know most immigrants in this country know more about the American way of life, history, government, civics, and the way it works than any of us, myself included, in this room? And I know quite a bit. I mean, if you ask them, they can name justices of the Supreme Court because they have to pass the test to become an American citizen. That's more than we who were born here have to do, right? How many people in this room were not born in the United States? Okay, so one, two, uh, hands again, three. Okay, are you, not, are you citizens or are you on a visa or green card? Visa. Okay. Citizen. Citizen. No. No, visa. Yeah. Visitor. I can't call you an illegal alien anymore because that will hurt your sensitivity. No, I'm on a visa. But I'm legal. Yeah, I know, right. No, not illegal. I can't call you a resident alien. And that's the legal term. See, they're changing it because now uh, our president said last week you can't use that term anymore. You see where this free speech thing is going? Do you find the term a resident alien of the United States offensive? No, I don't. Of course not because it's not offensive. But now we've got the thought police out there who have positions in government that are now telling us what to say and how to think, and that becomes very dangerous. See what I mean? Uh, citizen? Okay. Um, who else in here? Okay. Oh, okay. Citizen or? I'm a citizen. Okay, cool. So when you became a citizen, were you a citizen because your parents, you didn't have to take the test and all that stuff, okay? Same for you? You didn't become naturalized, right? And go to the classes and then take the oath and all but that stuff. But Joanna, are you doing that? Um, so we have to, my dad came on a student visa. And okay. So he's on an F1, we're on an F2. Uh -huh. and now we're getting a change of status so that we can apply for the green card. Okay, right, okay, cool. Yeah. So your dad and possibly even you may have to go through all that that I was mm -hmm. talking about. Yeah, definitely. And you really learn about the history and the workings of the United States because it is a unique country. Why does everybody want to come here? 
if it's so horrible, like you read in the press. You see what I'm saying? Why are people illegally flowing into this country by the hundreds of thousands and millions per year because it's horrible and it's so oppressive and terrible? You see the disconnect that we have? And it's primarily those guys driving it, the media. The reason I'm going through all of this, and I know we, it seems a little far afield, because it's all related and it's all important to what's going on with the narrative, because they're the ones who control what people see